I just want what Newton wants. To reinforce stability and harmony in the civic world. Wouldn't that be nice? Hit the button, baby. Active volcanoes. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents, and here we go. Everyone who dicks wants to talk about planets. Interplanetary war, asteroid onslaught, asteroid attack. For the fourth time since the start of 2017, a small celestial body will pass closer to the Earth than the distance between us and the moon. Is an Earth going to hit asteroid during the Super Bowl? Probably not, but there's been a lot of weird stuff going on, and if it happened, it wouldn't surprise me. Also, there's been a large uptick of near-Earth asteroids that have been closer than the distance of the moon to us this year. So it's a trending trend, and you would think if an asteroid wanted to make a big impact, it would do it during the Super Bowl. That was a pun, but it wasn't funny. Welcome to another edition of Asteroid Fight Club. And today, we're talking about actual asteroids. Theme of the day is kind of doomy. I don't know why, and it just is. I noticed yesterday, hey, the space weather near Earth asteroids chart seems to have a lot of red on it. And technically, it's got three asteroids that were less than a lunar distance from hitting Earth. And a lunar distance is the distance from Earth to the moon. I mean, the one that passed us by, Bunghole 30, came by on January 30th at 0.1 lunar distance. It means it probably scraped the atmosphere. And then Blowjob 30, you know, it's when a lady uh, dries your hair at the hairdresser. That was one lunar distance. That means it probably shaved the moon. And today, we got Big Suck 30, or BS 30, which passes a little under half the distance between Earth and the moon. Speaking of BS, I don't even know if I believe in asteroids. Because one time... I read Sun Tzu's book, The Art of War. In it, he proposes the actual key to war is deception. And knowing that war is the main engine of all global fiat currencies, it's hard to believe anything anymore, other than that which you can verify with your own eyes. See, I think it's weird. We haven't scattered a hundred GoPros out in the asteroid belt. Everything's weird. Are we undergoing an asteroid onslaught? I don't know, man. Maybe? If you notice, though, the majority of them are found this year. So it definitely looks like an uptick. Interplanetary war, asteroid attack, asteroid onslaught, we're over at CNET. And they're saying, asteroid attack. Astronomers ponder fourth close pass of 2017. Yet another space rock is set to give Earth a close shave. We ask a professional sky watcher if we should be freaking out just yet. Man, I started freaking out a long time ago. But that was because of human beings. Humans are the only thing I worry about. For the fourth time since the start of 2017, a small celestial body will pass closer to the Earth than the distance between us and the Moon. Recently discovered asteroid 2017 BS-32 zips by around midday Thursday. And, ladies and gentlemen, I think it has passed us. We are safe. We are safe. We are safe for now. The latest narrow shave comes just a few days after the closest such flyby in months, prompting observers and some astronomers to wonder if the apparent blitz of tiny planetoids could be more than a mere coincidence. According to Paul Cox at the SLU Observatory, the apparent bursts of small, close-approaching asteroids were first spotted just before buzzing us initially sparked discussion in 2016. One possibility sprang to mind that these clusters of smaller asteroids making close approaches to Earth over relatively short periods of time were in fact the fragments from larger asteroids that had broken up, or Comet Ison. However, when we review the orbits of each of the asteroids, we found no correlation between them, showing clearly they weren't associated in any way. Okay, then maybe Comet Siding Springs? That lit up Mars, you know? And it passed close by Mars. So maybe some of those chunks got caught in gravity. So we were certainly left with the opinion that these small clusters are purely coincidental. Coincidence. It's the answer to give when you don't have an actual answer. Having said that, they still surprise us when we see them. An asteroid apocalypse isn't upon us, it would appear. How can something appear that isn't there? You know? I don't know. Maybe I'm nitpicking words. As far as we know, all these last minute discoveries from the past year or so have flown by us safely without incident. So all there is really to do is sit back and enjoy the show. Okay. Once again, a vague Super Bowl reference. Will Earth get hit by an asteroid during the Super Bowl? Probably not. But we have had a lot of close approaches. And I guess it would just be a weird coincidence if Earth was going to get hit by an asteroid during the Super Bowl. Asterisk? Asterisk? We shall see. Anyway, am I now an asteroid Nazi? Great. If that made you mad, I don't think Asteroid Fight Club is for you. Got Johnny? Sweet. It's a strange, mad, strange, mad, strange, mad world. That's true. All the asteroids seem to come from inside of Mars in the sun kind of orbit. They were all pretty small by asteroid terms. 
you know, school bus size, house size, small building size. But if you were to take one of them on the noggin, assuming they're real, it would definitely cause you harm. And I definitely don't think 27BJ30 was real. Because usually after enough time, BJs get me in trouble. That was close. Close call. Whoa. Almost. So close. So dangerous. So dangerous. I don't know if you know this. Yeah, so do your own research. Make up your own mind. Maybe we're under an onslaught. Maybe we're under attack. Ice giants are standing on Mars throwing asteroids at us. Or maybe Bane is going to throw an asteroid and hit us during the Super Bowl. You never know. Weirder things have happened. So keep an eye out for fireballs, shooting stars, unidentified flying objects, and just general wackiness and weirdness in the sky. I don't know. Honestly, in general, I'm not that worried about a real asteroid hitting us. Because if they can ashify buildings, they could probably ashify a big regolith space rock. But what do I know? And they're made of diamonds and gold and iridium and special material. I can neither confirm nor deny whether you get space herpes from asteroids. So if one crashes in your backyard, handle it with care. You definitely use a jimmy sack. You may laugh, but NASA had an idea. It was like a asteroid condom. Um, but I think, I, I don't think they're going with that idea anymore. I didn't think they thought the asteroid condom would really protect us. Alright, that's that. Peace out. God bless everyone.